Hi. Hmm. Proverbs 24, 1 to 2. He said, be not thou envious against evil men. Don't envy them. Don't desire to be like them. No, 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 no. Don't desire it. Neither desire to be with them. Why? Because their hearts studied destruction and their lips talk of mischief. The word study means to analyze all actions that is being taken against our society, against our family, against our nation. They are deliberate. Deliberate to erode. You see, they, they, they said uh, homosexualism, this, this, this. The African culture say no, it's not part of our culture. They are now going around trying to catch our youth. They now begin to bring messages like BB Nigeria and all those things. From there now, you see that the corruption, the level of the corruption, the level of morals that we have will be eroded. And then we can now begin to succumb. They said, uh, gay and all that. We said no. They now bring in cross dresser. He said, no, me, I'm a cross dresser. Cross dresser. But uh, the daily mom will do ask. He said, but you are talking like a woman. You are behaving like a woman. He said, yes, there are hormones that I take to change me, to do this, to do that. And the youth are following. People are following. Cross dresser I just did a tattered bad day. They say, let God stand still. All of this now is enticing. Give it another two, five years. Nobody will be saying, ah, our nation, we don't, is uh, uh, homosexuality, this is this, against the African culture. Nobody will be talking that again. Why? Because they have passed through all these subtle means. Subtle means to break down. The church has fallen in the, in the, in the, in the West. Now you have sound christian churches are started well contending for defeat now giving room to homosexuality and, and, and having gay marriages gay this was the difference now between those churches and the world it comes with this up to me and the bible is not telling us here in proverbs 24 too, that they study their hearts study this is they sit down and study it. it it is not just happening they study it and they now bring it to play I say to a lot of mothers, don't drive out your children. No matter how the child is, love the child, keep the child, feed the child, take care of the child. Why? Because they have prepared places for them outside. Where they'll be feeding them, taking care of them, brainwashing them, giving room to Satan. And in the next 5, 10, 20 years, all of these values we stand for will be gone, eroded. He said they study it. And we are looking at the meaning of the word study. The meaning of the word study, he said, they take time. They take time to work at it. They work at it. They give attention to it. They are attentive to their details. But we are not. And we just laugh. Hey, mm -mm. it's all a planned work. I brought now the curriculum from small. They say, let them begin to explore their, their spirit, spirit sex, explore their sexuality. That means we are now, they are playing, growing up. Say, no, close your leg. No, 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 wear pants. Why didn't you wear, don't touch yourself. And they say, leave them to explore themselves. So from three, four, say, ah, this one is gay. Put him in gay school. And we are now following suit. You see? You see, they apply themselves. They study it. They are deliberate at it. All this is, is deliberate effort. Give it another five, ten years. The moral values will be so eroded. I won't say anymore that it's not our culture. It's not our this. Bible doesn't say we must stand and defend the truth. He said they examine. They look into, they investigate, they, they do research. These people, how can we enter them? The millionaire next door, there's a, they, they, something they used to do in those days, the millionaire next door, who wants to be a millionaire? You see that one, taxing the brain. Taxing the brain, they will ask you about your nation, uh, Nigeria, this, 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 this. The brain, no, they don't live that one, it's, it's a sensuality. Things of no head, no tail. 
trying to make us to go that way. And we are following suit. Also destroying ourselves in the name of uh, religion, in the name of land grappling. All of those things are wo all works of wickedness, works of darkness that we must not succumb to. You see here that they scrutinize, they have lessons, they teach themselves, they inquire, how can we do this, how can we? And they say, okay, follow this way, follow that way, follow that way, follow this way. And the values are being eroded, you see. See, inspection, they scrutinize, they do a survey, they do a survey. I've told you, I said, when the, the churches are having conferences, they did research and they say, ah, these Christians, they are just pretending, you know, over 65% of them tuned to stations of pornography. They say, okay, this is how we, we enter them. And then they begin to do it. They begin to go that way. Ah, the youth and all that. The political system, how do we enter them? How do we get at them? Are ah, very simple. Corruption, they are corrupt. Money, give them few money, give them position. They will deny their mother, deny their father, deny their land, sell their land for you for peanuts. They have studied and looked into it. But the Lord is saying this morning, Proverbs 24, 1 to 2, that their heart studied destruction. They've studied it. Don't follow them. Be not envious of them. Proverbs 24, 1 to 2. Let that desire to be with them. Don't desire it. Which riches that are got, gotten at the pain of others. Don't desire it. Riches that are gotten at the cry of others, don't desire it. Positions that sell your birthright, don't desire it. Don't go for it. Don't be a part of it. And if you're a part of it, say no to it. Let it be known that this one, mm -mm 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 -mm. I do not support it. And I am not for it. Not that you will join to finish your people. You will join to kill your people. And then when your people want to protect, you say, no, 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 no. When they react, you arrest them. You've arrested these ones. All the ones they've been doing over the years, you can't give one person that you arrested. And you are there, you say you are a governor. You are there, you say you are information minister. You are there, you say you are this. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you people doing? What are you people doing? Let us all wake up. All these problems we are having is because of impartiality. Don't be partial. Show that you know what you are doing. Be fair. Be just. Be just. Don't and subvert the rights of the innocent. Proverbs 24, 1 to 2. Be thou not envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them, for their heart sought their destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. And they're talking about mischief, talking about things that do not build, things that do not edify, things that are not praiseworthy, things that will not build the home, things that will not build the society. Things that scatter. The Bible says don't go that way. Things that do not uphold the principles of morality. Good governance as de demanded and stated by God and as agreed upon in our constitution. He said don't go that way. Don't follow that way. May the Lord find us faithful. May the Lord give us grace to say no in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you out there and you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Then the things of the world will entice you. Are you out there? You do not have a standard of living. Some of these things, because there's no standard. You don't have a standard. Anything goes. I've told you on our radio program, Church on the Air, Jordan and 3.9 FM, I was asked a question when I preached on money. How much money is enough? You can go for as much, as much as trillions, billions, as much as God can give you, as much as you can make. So long as... The command there is, as long as it does not infringe on the joy, the pain, the comfort of another person. If you didn't defraud another person, if you didn't do it at the cry, at the pain of another person, then carry go. But enough should be enough. Where it is causing havoc, pains, cries everywhere, don't do it. Don't go that way. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So let's stop the carnage. You can stop it. I can stop it. You can stop it. I can stop it. You can do something about it. I can do something about it. Start from your corner. I hold my corner away. And then let's call upon the Lord. We are praying and praying. There is nothing 
my God cannot do. There is nothing a God cannot do. There is nothing a God cannot do. A God cannot do. <clears throat> a God cannot do. A God cannot do. Nothing God cannot do. Let's not give up. Let's not give in. But we must watch. We must watch the subtle, 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 gentle, gentle way that the devil is coming in to erode our principles. It is not just happening. The Bible wants us here that they study, for they have studied the destruction. And we said the word study here means that they apply themselves to it, they examine it, they bomb the midnight oil, they go for it, they don't stop, they consider different measures, they scrutinize it, they persevere at it, they work at it, and a lot, lot more, showing that it is not just in vain. They are going for it with their head intact. Let us also use our brain to follow Jesus and not follow them or follow the world. Proverbs 4, 14 to 15 say, avoid it. Pass, pass not by it. Don't go by them. Turn from them. Pass away from them. Don't enter the path of wickedness. Don't go the way of evil men. This is our YouTube channel under the Band of Love account. We have a lot of videos there for you. Listen to them. Like it. Share. God bless you. It is well with you. Well with our nations. Well with our families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you out there and you are guilty of all these things? Jesus came for you. He came for me. He came for the sinners. He came for those that have been led astray. You can come back. Come back. Jesus is calling you this morning. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you say that prayer, that is all. It will be well with you. You will make it. You will shine. You will excel. You will not be misled in the name of Jesus. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. The minute you say that prayer, don't stop. And you can't know God's mind unless you, you are with him. Unless you read your Bible. Unless you study your Bible. So this morning we are saying, spend time in the word. Read the word. Study the word. And go for the word. God bless you. Thank you very much for tuning in. God bless you.